y'all welcome back so today's video is going to be on this look right here it is more of a chit chat get ready with me using a few new products so I hope you are ready because I'm not sure how long this is gonna be oh I wanted to show you um, my t-shirt that I'm wearing because it's just awesome all of my 90s babies will appreciate this shirt I mean it's just how much more better can you get in a shirt I mean right you have hey Arnold Rocco's modern life um, my favorite, personal favorite, which is Ah Real Monsters, Ren and Stimpy, Hey Arnold, Wild Thornberries, Rugrats, everything. And I got this shirt at Target, but we got it during Christmas, so I'm not sure if it's still going to be there. But I did see some more shirts like this at Spencer's if you have one near you or there might be some online. All right, so if you want to see how I got this look and what new products I used and tried out for y'all today, then just keep watching. Okay, so something I've been loving to use lately is this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And I'm sure you've probably seen this before. And I really like it for my dry skin. Now, if you have oily skin, you might not like this, but for dry skin, it's like a heaven scent. I feel like my skin really soaks it up and it saturates my skin as much as I need it to because I have lots of dry places because of my Accutane, Absorica, whatever you want to call it. Because of that medicine, I have really, really dry skin, so I have been loving to use this. I will actually use this as a just a primer some days and not use any primer underneath if I'm just going for like a no makeup makeup type of look. But yeah, this is really, really awesome. And it smells really good. It smells like roses and... I guess it could like borderline smell like old people, but I kind of like the roses smell. <laughs> so for primer, I'm using this new primer I hauled in a couple of videos ago. I'll leave a card somewhere in this video so you can click on it. But this is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer in the Blur and Redness Control. It's just in like a black and green tube. This is my first time trying all these products I'm going to use today. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. So, uh, I think I used too much. <laughs> I feel like it really made my skin um, smoother. So, hopefully the foundation will go on top of that extra smooth. <laughs> so, for foundation, I've actually used these two before, but I'm not sure if I've used them on my channel before. But this is the Sonia Kashuk Foundation. It's just called the Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This says it's a demi matte finish, blah, blah, blah. So, these are the two I'm going to mix. I hardly ever use a foundation, like just one foundation by itself. I love, I love to mix foundations. I don't know why. I just feel like you get some pros from one and then some pros from another. And then to blend out my foundation, I'm going to be trying out this Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Miracle. I don't know. It's just this diamond sponge that you've seen everybody and their mother use. And I just saw so many good reviews on this that I had to pick it up and try it out so it's just it's a lot bigger than i thought it was if that gives any reference like it's pretty it's a pretty big um sponge to me and i love the real techniques that little orange one with like the flat side on it i love that one and so i'm hoping that i'll love this one too i just love the way this feels it's not very dense and it's very squishy and i really enjoy that in a sponge and so yeah let's quit playing with it and put this foundation on our face i don't really know how to use this sponge I guess I mean I'm just using the top of it obviously to to do my actual foundation but other than that I don't really know am I supposed to use like the corners to do my foundation I don't know I feel like it blends everything out really fast So I feel like this is not as much coverage as a brush would be and I think it's I always feel like that when I like break in a new sponge I don't know if it just like just a sponge that has never been used before it all like goes into the sponge somewhere but um the more I use a sponge the less I feel like it soaks it up so it's just something I'm gonna have to play around with but that's one of the reasons I don't really use sponges a lot because I do feel like it kind of soaks up more than I want it to. I, as you can see like this it's not really covering my um, acne at all and usually it would. So just to kind of speed this foundation up I'm just going to use a foundation brush. This is the Urban Studio Buffing 205 brush. I use this all the time for foundation. It's real dirty. I need to wash it but 
I really, really like this. And by the way, um, I'll have all the products I use today listed down below, as always. But these foundations, this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, I don't really like it on its own because it's like, it just has like a weird texture to my face because I have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, you'll probably like this. Um, but this is in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. And then I really do like this Sonia Kashuk one by itself too. And this is in the shade 02 Vanilla. So moving on to concealer. I've used this concealer before. This is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Um, this is in the shade 15 Fair. I'm not going to use that much because I'm just going for like a natural look today. So I don't really highlight that much anyway <laughs> with concealer. But um, I guess I'm just going to go with this little point and see how it does. I really like how like bouncy and not dense the sponge is. I don't really like dense um, sponges. I don't know if I said that. I might have said that. <laughs> I blended everything out really, really fast. So now I'm moving on to spot concealer because that foundation still did not cover up everything. So I'm using this NYX concealer palette. I've used this many times. This has been my best friend throughout all these breakouts and months of zits that I've had. So love this. It's like, um, it's kind of like, I don't want to say like a harsh consistency, but it's not very creamy. So I feel like it kind of stays in place more than a creamy concealer would. So this is in the shade Light. So now to set everything, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Primer. This is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory, which just looks like this. I've used this before and I really like this. Um, but I usually use, which you probably know, is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I love that. And I just use it in the shade Translucent. And um, I just really like that one because it doesn't give like too much extra coverage. So I feel like I'm not putting like tons of layers on my face. <laughs> but this one's really nice too. It's very, very lightweight and it just gives like a flush of color. So now I'm just going to move on to my eyes. I'm not, I don't have any like new eyeshadow or anything to use. So I'm not really going to do much. I'm just going to take the same face powder and um, just put it on my eyes. And just to give it like a uh, all over color, just like for it to all be the same. <laughs> that made no sense, but you get what I'm saying. Then I'm going to use this Rimmel Scandal Eyes. It's a nude um, eye pencil. It just looks like this. I'm using this instead of a black because I'm going for a more neutral and daytime look like I said I, I like this but I do have contacts and sometimes it um, bothers my contacts so it's kind of hard to find an eyeliner that doesn't that's why I use that NYX black eyeliner all the time because that one does not bother my contacts and I have very sensitive eyes so it's really annoying so I'm just gonna put on mascara and if you know me and you've watched my videos you know what I'm fixing to say I'm going to use this Maybelline Rocket Volume Foundation. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Is anyone else this messy with their mascara? I cannot do my mascara without making a mess like this. So, just want to know if I'm the only one that does that. Because it's really annoying. <laughs> so, I'm just going to move on to my eyebrows very quickly. This is, as always, I'm using the ColourPop Bang & Brunette Gel, Eyebrow Gel stuff. I love this. I also love the Bang & Brunette Pencil. And, um, I, I think I explained it in my current eyebrow routine, which I'll put a card in right here for you to check that out. But, I think that the gel is more natural, but it's kind of harder to work with if you're not familiar with brows. So um, you just have to be kind of light handed with the brow pencil, but it is easier to work with in my opinion, in case you were wondering if you should get the gel or the pencil, there you go. <laughs> okay, so now that my eyes are cleaned up and I have my eyebrows on, let's move on to bronzer. I am using this new palette right here. I'm going to be using it for my bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And this is the package or the makeup item that I hauled in my other video. And this is the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. So let's just throw this little brush away. And okay, I'm going to be using this Sigma angled contour at 40. I always use this brush for bronzing. I almost never contour. Actually, I never contour. I just bronze and like contour-ish at the same time. So let's see if this powder works for this. So hopefully it's not like 
because I'm very pale. Hopefully it's not too um, muddy. So far it is looking pretty natural, which I enjoy. I really like this. I feel like it's not too much and um, not too little, <laughs> but definitely if you have like a darker skin tone or even like a shade or two darker than mine, you might want to go up a shade because this, um, you definitely have to build it up for you to even see it, but that's good for me because I do have a heavy hand, like I said before, and I tend to put a lot of product on and just mess myself up, so this is really nice that it just barely goes on and then I can build it up to how I want it. So now I'm going to use this blush in this palette and hopefully when I swatched it it was a little pink so I'm going to try to be um, like light handed with this because I don't want it to be like a Barbie pink on my cheeks. <laughs> it's actually not bad at all. Especially if you were like tanner like I'll probably still use this palette when I start self tanning but right now it's still really pretty I think as long as you use a light hand it's not going to be like too too pink or if you like pink blushes then you might really really like this I like it I think it looks very natural all right so now for this highlight shade so I found this fan brush thank goodness thank you will for buying it for me for Christmas um, this is just the elf one um, but anyways, I'm going to use this fan brush with this highlighter and hopefully, because it didn't look like too much pigment on my hand when I swatched it, but we'll see if we can like build it up. So I'm seeing a little bit, um, it's just like kind of shiny-ish, which... It's actually really pretty for like a natural day, this brow. It's not as intense as like a ColourPop um, highlighter or anything like that, but I kind of like it for like a natural look like I'm going for today. If you're like an intense highlight person, I would probably pass on this because you might not like it because it's really not all that intense, but it does give your um, face just a nice little shine to it. Okay, so now I have all my face makeup on. I'm going to move on to lips, and as always, I'm using a ColourPop product because I just love them. And this is in, this is the Matte X Lippy Stick, and this is in the shade Daydream. And this one is one of the ones that came broken if you watched my ColourPop haul. So, still, still mad about that. <laughs> okay, well, this is it for this look. I am all finished with everything, and I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I did use a few new products, but not everything was new. But I do have lots of videos and video ideas coming for you, so just stay tuned for those. But yeah, this video was super different to film. I usually film, you know, like tutorials when I do the voiceover. So this was very different and I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.